Borneo. The very name evokes a sense of adventure and mystery. This third largest island in the world is a treasure trove of biodiversity. Nestled in the northern part of Borneo lies Sabah, one of Malaysia's 13 states. Sabah beckons with its pristine rainforests, stunning mountains and vibrant coral reefs. Imagine a land where orangutans swing through the canopy and proboscis monkeys roam freely. Picture yourself trekking through dense jungles, the air thick with exotic birdsong. This is Sabah, a place where adventure awaits around every corner. Join me as we delve deeper into this extraordinary destination and discover the best that Borneo has to offer. Sabah is a paradise for nature lovers. Its diverse landscapes, from towering mountains to turquoise waters, harbor an astonishing array of flora and fauna. One of Sabah's most iconic natural wonders is Mount Kinabalu, Southeast Asia's highest peak. For underwater adventures, the waters off Sabah's coast are home to vibrant coral reefs. Sipadan Island, a world-renowned diving destination, boasts incredible marine life. Sabah is also home to important conservation areas like Dunham Valley and Tabin Wildlife Reserve. These areas provide sanctuary to endangered species, including orangutans and pygmy elephants. Sabah's natural beauty is undeniable. But what truly sets this destination apart is its people. The warmth and hospitality of Sabahans are legendary. Sabah is a melting pot of cultures, with over 30 ethnic groups and 80 dialects spoken. The Karazan Dusun are known for their farming traditions and colorful festivals. The Bajau, or Sea Gypsies, have a rich maritime heritage. The Murut are renowned for their blowpipe demonstrations. This diversity is reflected in Sabah's cuisine, music and dance. Whether you're in bustling markets or sharing stories over a cup of Tay Tarek, you'll discover the genuine warmth and hospitality that makes Sabah special. To truly understand Sabah, it's essential to delve into its fascinating history. For centuries, Sabah was part of the Bruneian Empire, a powerful maritime kingdom that controlled much of Borneo. In the late 19th century, British influence grew in the region, and Sabah became a British protectorate known as North Borneo. The colonial era left its mark on Sabah with the introduction of rubber plantations and the development of infrastructure. However, the indigenous people of Sabah retained their unique cultures and traditions. After World War II, North Borneo became a British crown colony. Then in 1963, together with Sarawak, Singapore, and the Federation of Malaya, Sabah formed the Federation of Malaysia. This historical tapestry has shaped Sabah into the vibrant and diverse state it is today. The legacy of its past is visible in its architecture, its cultural practices, and the languages spoken. The journey through Sabah's history is like walking through a living museum, where every corner tells a story of resilience and cultural fusion. Section 5, A Mosaic of Cultures, The People of Sabah. Sabah's cultural diversity is one of its greatest assets. Over 30 ethnic groups call this land home, each contributing to the state's rich tapestry of traditions, languages and beliefs. The Karazandusun, the largest indigenous group, are known for their agricultural prowess and vibrant festivals like Kamatan, the Harvest Festival. The Bajau, with their seafaring heritage, are skilled fishermen and boat builders. The Murut, traditionally residing in the interior, are renowned for their hunting skills and intricate beadwork. And the Rungus, known for their long houses and hand-woven fabrics, add to the cultural mosaic. This diversity extends to languages. While Malay is the official language, you'll hear a symphony of tongues spoken throughout Sabah, from indigenous dialects to Chinese and Indian languages. This blend of cultures creates a vibrant and welcoming atmosphere. Visitors are encouraged to immerse themselves in the local customs, whether it's trying traditional delicacies, witnessing a cultural performance, or learning a few phrases in the local language. Section 6. Planning your Sabah adventure essential tips. Ready to embark on your Sabah adventure? Here are some essential tips to ensure a smooth and enjoyable trip. Firstly, check for any travel advisories or visa requirements. Most nationalities can enter Malaysia without a visa for tourism purposes for a specific period, but it's always best to confirm the latest regulations. When it comes to accommodations, Sabah offers a wide range, from budget-friendly guesthouses to luxurious resorts. 
Consider your budget and desired level of comfort. Booking in advance is recommended, especially during peak season. Pack light, breathable clothing suitable for the tropical climate. Don't forget essentials like sunscreen, insect repellent, a hat, and comfortable walking shoes. It's also a good idea to pack a waterproof bag for boat trips and jungle treks. Learning a few basic Malay phrases will enhance your interactions with locals. Section 7. Getting around Sabah. Transportation at a glance. Navigating Sabah is relatively easy, with various transportation options available. For long-distance travel, flying is the most convenient option. Kota Kinabalu International Airport, or BKI, is the main gateway to Sabah, with numerous domestic and international flights. Within Sabah, AirAsia and Malaysia Airlines offer domestic flights to major towns and cities. Buses are a cost-effective option for traveling between towns and cities. Several bus companies operate regular services, and tickets can be purchased at bus terminals or online. Taxis are readily available in urban areas. Ensure the driver uses the meter or agree on a fare before starting your journey. For exploring islands and coastal areas, boat services are frequent. Ferries connect Kota Kinabalu to nearby islands like Pulau Gaya and Pulau Manukan, while speedboats offer faster transfers. While Sabah does have a railway system, it's limited to certain areas and not as extensive as other transportation modes. Section 8. Practicalities for the Traveler. What to expect. Here are some practicalities to keep in mind during your Sabah trip. The official currency is the Malaysian Ringgit, or MIR. Credit cards are widely accepted in major establishments, but it's advisable to carry some local currency for smaller purchases and transactions in rural areas. ATMs are readily available in cities and towns. When it comes to electricity, Sabah uses the British standard three-pin plugs with a voltage of 240 volts. Adapters are readily available at airports and convenience stores. Tap water is generally safe to drink in urban areas. However, it's advisable to stick to bottled water, especially in rural areas. English is widely spoken, particularly in tourist areas. However, learning a few basic Malay phrases will enhance your interactions with locals. Saba is generally a safe destination for travelers. However, it's always wise to exercise caution, safeguard your belongings, and be mindful of your surroundings. Section 9. Saba's Rhythms, Climate, Currency, and More. Saba enjoys a tropical climate characterized by warm temperatures and high humidity year-round. The average temperature hovers around 27 to 32 degrees Celsius, or 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. There are two main seasons, the wet season from October to March and the dry season from April to September. The wet season brings heavy rainfall, especially on the east coast. The dry season is generally sunny with occasional showers. The best time to visit Sabah is during the dry season for optimal weather conditions. However, each season has its own charm. The wet season offers lush greenery and the opportunity to witness the blooming of the Rafflesia. Regardless of the time of year, it's always a good idea to pack light, breathable clothing, rain gear, and insect repellent. Section 10. Responsible Travel – Respecting Nature and Culture as visitors to this beautiful land, it's our responsibility to travel responsibly and minimize our impact on Sabah's environment and culture. When exploring natural areas, stick to designated trails, avoid littering, and refrain from disturbing wildlife. Support local conservation efforts by choosing eco-friendly tour operators and accommodations. Respect the local customs and traditions. Dress modestly when visiting religious sites. Ask for permission before taking photographs of individuals and be mindful of noise levels in public areas. Support the local economy by purchasing souvenirs from local artisans and dining at local restaurants. By embracing responsible travel practices, we can ensure that Sabah's natural beauty and cultural heritage remain intact for generations to come. Section 11 until next time Sabah, leaving with open hearts. As we bid farewell to Sabah, we carry with us cherished memories of its natural splendor cultural richness and the warmth of its people. From the summit of Mount Kinabalu to the depths of Sipadan's coral reefs, Sabah has captivated our senses and left an indelible mark on our souls. We've witnessed orangutans swinging through ancient rainforests, marveled at the vibrant marine life teeming beneath the surface, and shared laughter with locals over steaming cups of Taitarik. Sabah has reminded us of the importance of preserving our planet's biodiversity. 
embracing cultural diversity, and approaching life with an open heart. So, until next time, Saba, Kadaku Oilan, I will remember you in the language of the Kadazandusun. Bagyao, see you again in the language of the Bajau. May your beauty continue to inspire, your cultures continue to thrive, and your people continue to welcome visitors with open arms.